Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to another modding tutorial. In this tutorial today we're going to be taking a look at changing the block drop and setting a quantity for that drop. Uh, this is a quite simple tutorial today but it's something that you guys probably do want to know how to do. So we're going to get straight into it. So you'll want to go inside your block that you want to uh, change the drop item of and I'm going to be changing the drop item of my block cheese here. I want it to drop um, the actual cheese item and let me just find my main mod class within all here. I want it to drop this item here, so item cheese. So we'll go back into our um, block cheese and what we need to do is create a method called public public, let's see if I can spell it right, public item get item dropped. Now it has to be exactly that and then for the parameters we're going to put int metadata comma random rand and then the last one int fortune and then we'll do squiggly bracket at the end new line and inside of here is where we can put our item that we want to be returned. Now again um, you want to put at override over the top of it and then we want to return an item so we're going to go return and then we're going to go tutorial mod tutorial mod and then do item cheese and then semicolon at the end and there we go now um, I had someone in the comments say at override doesn't work and um, what at override does is will override the super classes method so this so this method here is in the actual block class so if we scroll down um, let's just find it drop oops oh, let's just go to the top here to do there so we got get dropped item it has to be in the super class or at override won't work you can't just make up a method and go public void blah whatever that is and put that over the top of it because that method there is not in the super class of block so hopefully you understand that so yeah that's how we set the item that we dropped and we're just going to quickly test it out now so if we run the client and we go into our tab over here, we'll get out a block and we'll also get out a pickaxe. Uh, we'll go into game mode uh, S, we'll pop that down and then when we break it, you'll see that it drops um, a cheese item. Whoops, lagging a bit. It, it dropped a cheese item. Now what we're going to do is make it drop a quantity. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So it's quite simple. So under our get I item dropped method what we're going to do is create a new one but we're going to call this public public int quantity titty <laughs> quantity dropped and then we're going to do parameters random rand and then squiggly bracket at the end new line and I think oh yeah we get to add a return statement um, copy this override and put it over the top of it and this is where you can um, set how many items it drops. So if you want to drop three, put three in there. If you want to drop six, put six in there. If you want to drop twenty, put twenty in there. And let's quickly test this out. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to destroy the block now. And you'll see that it dropped a fair few of them. So we got twenty-one now. We are we originally had one. So that's why it's twenty-one. Now maybe you want to do something like lapis, where it drops four di four by default, but then it has an extra it has a chance to drop extra what you can do is is first you want to set the default well how many you want to at least get every time you mine the block so we're at least going to get two and then you want to do plus rand dot next and then you want to type in a number so if you type in eight it's going to drop the possibility of getting zero extra or zero extra to seven extra um, basically any value you do in there, it's going to be one less than that, and it's going to be from zero to whatever that number is, negative one. So zero, it would be the zero to x take one. So x is the number that you put here. So I might set mine to five, so I get I get a possibility of getting an extra four. So I'm going to go ahead, put that in there. We we'll go ahead and save the game, and we'll run the client. Now when we break the block. You see that we got six before it was just one but we set the minimum to two and then we got a random 
from 0 to 4, and we got 2 plus 4, so we got the maximum amount that you could actually get. Let's try this again. We only got 3 that time. We got 5. We got 4. And we got 3 then. So I think you guys get the point, and I think that's going to be the end of the tutorial. So hopefully you learnt how to add your own block drops to your blocks now, and I will see you guys for the next episode where we're going to be looking at um, distributing your mod because it's about that time where you guys have created your first mod and I thought um, I'll teach you guys how to distribute it now. So I'll see you guys for that episode. Bye!